About a five minute drive now for UTEP. And they will keep it on the ground. Awan just gets pile driven by Stutzman. <laughs> Positivity around that program with a sellout in week one and this another rush and a hard one at that from Oklahoma and Jared Canick, the four star prospect. Oklahoma showing blitz and they will bottle up Cooper this time. That is Danny Stutzman who had a career high nine tackles last week. Bring the guy off the off the slot receiver and there's no one there to block him he stops the play early and then Stutzman cleans it up for his whole game this is the 14th play of the drive a third and short Oklahoma smothering defense a loss it's Stutzman again Cooper had nowhere to go easy didn't really like the outside play call now Oklahoma does a great job of pushing it east and west rather than north and south and they're able with their speed to run it down and Stutzman once again. Drive continues, fresh set of downs. Schlee, not this time, buried in the backfield. Danny Stutzman has had a terrific first. Schlee with pressure, somehow evades it and finally goes down. Sack, who else? Danny Stutzman, who has been terrific through the first two games of the season. And he's able to step away from it, but Stutzman, who was stopped in the line of scrimmage, just follows him down and rips him to the ground. Sophomore out of win every time. But he won't get it here. Instead, it'll be Cooper, and Cooper is stopped dead in his tracks. Stutzman again. Danny Stutzman now with a dozen tackles. <laughs> Watch him just run down the line of scrimmage. There's no one blocking him, and he's just so good at Here's the run. Grant tried to get outside. Good tackling by this Oklahoma team. Panic. Matter if there's a hole there, all of a sudden, there's another guy waiting, and there's another blitz and pressure, and Casey Thompson hit again as he tried to let go of that one. And again, Kanick in there, the freshman. Pressure again, Thompson steps up, beautiful pass. Trey Palmer over the middle. And he's got a first down, and did that ball come out? Find a window, make a throw, but you, know, you can see the Oklahoma defense just being opportunistic and ripping this football out. Or oh, Trey Palmer hits the ground. What a great play, and again, Brady, that's Jaron Kanick. Kanick is a freshman. They are so high. Third down and three. Ewers. It's going to check down and wrapped up. Stutzman with three tackles to start the game, and it'll be a three and out for Texas. A loss of defense getting off to a nice start. You had the tight end crossing the field. Skinner went in motion. And the handoff to Kai Thomas, nowhere to go. He lost a yard. Yeah, you know, you, you see the different mentality from Oklahoma. This is an entirely different approach to their game plan now. Look at all the dark jerseys sitting in there. That's a first down aggressive defense. To the first half. On second down. Play fake. That's the option play, but Oklahoma was ready for it. Yeah, yeah. Played it great. Played it great. The linebacker in front of the safety. Neal gets stuffed. Jalen Daniels is the starter, but those are throws that I'm not sure he can make. There's more arm strength, arm talent on some of those throws. But Jalen Daniels is a superior overall passer. And on to the up top, sorry. Oh, you're good. Rock the handoff. Oh, run. Stutzman with the great reaction. One of the leading tacklers on this team came in with. But Stutzman had to watch 28 set at the edge, right? There. Set in the edge, shedding the blocker, making a play along with Isaiah Coe. There's Decker's 27. 
so far today. Decker's back there. Oh, another pick. This one's got space. And Oklahoma is out of bounds at the two with Danny Stutzman. What a read by the linebacker. Decker's with his career worst third interception of the day. Once, not twice. Watch him carry the concept vertically. You see him try to work to Sean Shaw, number two, right behind him. He says not tonight. Good job getting depth right there by Stutzman. And maybe, maybe, maybe a huge tackle by Hunter Deckers here at the end. We'll see what happens. For a snap. Quaylen Jones coming in. Squirrel Williams. Maybe they don't want 36 carries for Reese like last week. This is Jones. You specified the 36 carries. I think it was after they hopefully could spread it around a little bit. Good job of meeting him in the hole. That's Danny Stutzman. Cut hair and all. For five on third down, and this is a third and long. Quaylen Jones dropped for an even bigger loss. Jaron Kanick. Yeah, the freshman out of Hayes can. It's essentially a play action for the quarterback where he fakes the pass and gets in the run game. Second and short. This is Mathis. Tell you what, Danny Stutzman is having a day in on virtually every tackle. Fourth on fourth. It looked like they had the first down on second down. Turns out to be third and one. Now fourth and three. I'd Offense stays out. on the field. Daniels with time. Now under pressure. Throws and it's intercepted. Picked off on the play by Danny Stutzman. His second interception of the year. We get a guy here, a guy here, but that's not what gets to him. He just holds the ball far too long, and the pocket is collapsing. It's collapsing. Those are all quick, so the offensive line doesn't expect for the quarterback to hold. Daniels under pressure again, and one more time he is sacked. Danny Stutzman comes through. He's got a sack. He's got an interception, and Oklahoma getting it done on the defensive side of the football. Danny Stutzman going to get vertical, and he's going to jump around and meet him on the other side. Hello, Mr. Daniels. My name is De Danny Stutzman. Jake McCoy was there. There have been a lot of highs and lows for this Oklahoma defense in 2022. Prather in motion. They give to Mathis. And nothing doing for him. Danny Stutzman comes through and pulls him down at the line of scrimmage. Back to the offense, Florida State. And they'll run it with Micah Pittman. Yard and a half. Another tackle for Danny Stutzman. Gives him a space to make that throw. And Florida State wastes no time. Again, Travis flushed out. This time to a strong side. And this time he's met right at the 50-yard line and dropped by Stutzman. A loss of six on the sack. A great job by Stutzman. And Travis having to poison it. Play fake and a spin out. Grabbed and just throws it at the feet of Benson. Are they going to call this an incomplete pass? I think they will to avoid the sack. Stutzman was all over Travis. 